y'all gonna die. I don't know what it is about some of y'all and just seeing things on social media and just saying, ooh, let me get that. But it's never wrong to just look at something and question it and wait for more people to actually test it and review it. I don't know why people just wanna jump the gun because this person claims that it's good or this person says it's something perfect for everybody or this person is using some diversity quarter to get people to buy it. It is necessary for people to understand that when it comes to these random things on the internet, you don't need to be buying everything. I've seen a woman sell piss bath water and farts all over social media i don't need to be buying random things from influencers on tiktok instagram or snapchat there is a woman selling sauce that is the color pink and you have positive reviews out there i'm not gonna act like it's just a whole bunch of negativity going around there are some people who are giving positive reviews on this thing however the cons are outweighing all the pros why because it's been the most poorly packaged weird molded you sending things out in the heat with the worst packaging anybody has ever seen for sauce somebody pulled out one of them and it looked like dry cum that was molding we need to talk about pink sauce and why a lot of people are concerned for the people that have bought this sauce from the lady that makes it on tiktok because the hue of the sauce keeps changing every photo every video the sauce color looks different and also she doesn't describe what it actually tastes like i don't know if it is to promote it get people to buy it just to see what it tastes like but she will not describe the taste she says it's because she cannot describe the taste i've been hearing it kind of tastes like ranch not exactly ranch but basically ranch now that people have purchased it and received it they're noticing that there's a lot of stuff that's really sketchy with the bottle the nutrition facts seem to be off it says there's 444 servings some of the ingredients are spelled wrong the website also just seems so poorly put together like what is this why does it say this it's literally like $20 for a bottle and a lot of people are now worried that this creator is going to be facing lawsuits. The sauce was also arriving in the mail in these bags. They were not like boxed up with bubble wrap and we're talking about liquid sauce here. So obviously some people were receiving them literally exploded. It's honestly so sad. I'm really rooting for small businesses, but when it comes to food, you need to be careful with what you're buying and the safety and everything. I'm not touching this shit. This is no. I saved my chicken nuggets just for this shit. Now I gotta put my shit in the air fryer to heat them back up, and I could have ate them when this shit was hot. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, no. Look at this. I'm holding my breath like a motherfucker. Oh my god. Look. Look at this. It don't even say pink sauce on this bitch. Oh my. It's gone. There's nothing else in here. Like, it's it's gone. Oh my god. It's, I, I, mm -mm. You're done. Light it up. Uh -uh. I can't even. I can't even stop the video. Please come. Uh -uh. Turn this off. Pink sauce is kids. <laughs> I'm about to throw up. Turn the video off. It's it no. It's enough for me. For one, it's stink. Okay, sweetie. I had gloves on, but we're still putting hand sanitizer on. Okay, so my partner just showed me this whole pink sauce drama. Coincidentally, I am someone who, like, prides themselves on the dressings that I make. I get pretty creative with them. I am really good with dressings. There were several things that jumped out immediately to me as a red flag. Several of those, I have now seen other people talk about it, uh, now that I've gotten more into the drama. So I'm gonna touch on those real quick. But then I'm gonna point something out that I haven't seen anyone else notice. So the things that I have now seen other people talk about. Now the label is crazy. Like it equals out to like 40,000 calories for a bottle, which is definitely not correct. The fact that vinegar is spelled wrong immediately jumped out to me, huge red flag. The fact that there is milk in it. Granted, it's allegedly a very small amount, but still something that you would typically wanna keep cold. So already kinda of off-putting. 
The interesting thing about dressings that some people don't know, if it's not a vinaigrette, mayo is probably the main ingredient. Now, that's a little bit different when you're talking about companies who have a ridiculous amount of preservatives. Just using this as a random example, Hellman's, their ranch does not technically use mayo, but it uses pretty much all of the ingredients that you would put in a mayo, with the exception of egg which they have other things to thicken and bind in place of the egg, such as the cornstarch, xanthan gum, all that. If it does not have mayo, it's almost guaranteed to use mustard. The reason that most dressings, non-vinaigrette dressings, use either mayo or mustard is because it acts as a binding agent. A lot of times you get like a balsamic vinaigrette. If you let it just sit there, it's going to separate because it's oil and vinegar, it's not gonna mix well. Even if you use like an immersion blender, it'll separate, which is what makes the texture of this sauce so weird. Now you could point to the honey and say that that's the binding agent. But the thing is, the pitaya is what gives it that color. Pitaya is just dragon fruit, uh, and the red dragon fruit is this color. Even with the fact that it's like mostly water, if you were to use honey as your binding agent and just honey, it wouldn't be quite as dark as the fruit itself, but the honey would darken it. It wouldn't be this light. Also, if you were using enough honey to actually bind the ingredients, it would be thicker than this. This is very light, almost watery. So I was thinking there has to be mayo, or at the very least, mustard in it. And then I came across this video, which you see something that looks an awful lot like mayo. And if you look at the ingredients list, there is nothing that looks like this listed here. Even if this is not mayo, at the very least, she is using something that's not here to give it that particular color and consistency. She's definitely not telling us the full ingredients list. Nobody should be buying this. And when this woman got criticized, for some reason, she let the mask slip and let everybody know she's selling this and it hasn't been approved by the FDA. All right, y'all, time to acknowledge the elephant in the room. So I want to start off by saying, number one, my apologies. My apologies, my apologies. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. Another thing, we have a team. Things happen. The grams got mixed up with the serving size. There's 444 grams of pink sauce inside of each container. It's about 30 servings per container. It was a mistake. We fixed the issue. You guys will not be receiving pink sauce bottles with the bad label. We are replacing all of the labels. We also are sending you guys a gift and a thank you note. And this is a small business, y'all. This is a small business that is just moving really, really fast. We are working to try to get the price mark down on the pink sauce. I want to also say I appreciate y'all for supporting me, for spending $20 per sauce to help us to produce it because the ingredients are not cheap. Um, yes, we are following FDA standard. However, we are currently in lab testing. We are currently in lab testing. We are currently in lab testing. We are in lab testing, we are in lab testing um, currently. So once we go through lab testing, we will be able to pitch to stores to put the pink sauce in stores. And we're so excited about that. Um, but yeah, we're growing every day. I'm listening to y'all. I see y'all. Um, I do. I am a hard. I'm a passionate person. But yeah, I'm listening to y'all. I hear y'all and we're growing every single day. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not anybody who sells any type of food, but I'm pretty certain if you're somebody who's creating a sauce or a food, you have to get that tested before you sell it. And if you don't and you sell it and somebody gets a stomach ache, you're liable to get sued for food poisoning or even somebody dying as a result of you not having the proper checking and approval to be selling these damn things. Hold up, okay. 
This is exactly what I've been telling you guys about. I'm Sherlinda Scales. I'm the founder of Mutt's Sauce. I did a, I did a whole video, and maybe that's why his video showed up on my FYP, about food safety and how if you're not careful, the food you eat can kill you, and I want you to do your own research. Stand by. This is my nutrition label. I am very transparent about what goes in this sauce, and you should be, because you do not want to be responsible for the sickness or death of someone that really wanted to support you and enjoy your product. You can also go on my website and get the nutrition label. If you want me to, I'll even send it to you in a DM. In a 12 fluid ounce bottle of sauce, there should be 13 servings. And as much as we love to put sauce on everything, especially mutt sauce, cause you can even on a salad, two tablespoons is a serving of sauce. So what you guys see here with the calories and stuff, that is two tablespoons. That's it. I know you drown it. I know you drown everything in sauce. But I, I want you to be careful because this is the bad part of not making food safety like your number one priority. Sorry, I'm just like so emotional about this because that is all I care about. I've been running my business for eight years. I'm still considered a small business. I got a reputable manufacturer because food safety is one of the most important things. I know that children enjoy this sauce. I know that families enjoy our sauce and that would just... Oh my God, that would destroy me if someone um, got sick. You know, that that's, I think, a reputable food business. That's our number one fear, any kind of recall. So um, if you want to support a business, that will not make you sick. And I, I'll i be watching the stuff on the, the pink lady sauce. Um. And to wrap this up, I just want to say this. For all the idiots out there who are trying to say, all y'all want to do is bring a black woman down. Oh, I hope this person gets the opportunity as a black woman. Oh, black women always got to be perfect in every situation. No, healthy criticism is necessary everywhere. Criticism is not a sin. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you. We all want her to succeed. The problem is there are some obvious missteps that if it keeps happening, happening again and again and again, she ain't gonna make no money. She gonna owe a bunch of people some money. And let me tell you about Big Teresa. Big Teresa like her food and she hate when it's tampered with. And this person might end up in jail or in a long lengthy lawsuit because nobody's giving her the actual criticism that she needs. She can sit there and apologize for all this, but if she's not going to improve, she's gonna have to either stop or get ready to get sued because at the end of the day, nobody really wants to see her fail. So cut that bullshit black women victim oh we all gotta stick together oh nobody wants to support a black business out the window because guess what every black business isn't legitimate there are some scammers out there who don't care about none of y'all they just want y'all to spend money on some overpriced shit which by the way i don't know who in the fuck got money like that but nobody should be spending 20 25 or even 30 dollars on some fucking sauce that's the same amount as a heinz ketchup subscribe to the channel i'll see y'all in the next one Goodbye.